Okay, hello, hello, sorry I'm late. I had the drive today. Um, I, uh, how should I say it? I am, I got my temporary driving license when, like, a few weeks ago. So I've been driving a little bit every week. So now I have to slowly start working on my actual driving license, which is why I had to drive today. I had to go deliver some stuff to some family members. But I am back now, and now I can play games. The reason I didn't stream earlier today, or rather before now, uh, is because I was actually waiting on a package that didn't arrive. So I'm gonna have to wait again tomorrow. And when I wait tomorrow, I'm also unable to stream during the day. I'm also gonna have to stream at night. And, and tomorrow, the package I ordered is a new graphics card. Yes, I bought, I bought a new graphics card. So tomorrow, I'm gonna, I should be getting it tomorrow. I should actually check my mail later because I should be getting a mail when it's, it's being sent. Anyway, I should be getting a new graphics card tomorrow and then I am gonna try and install it on Wednesday, but then maybe we can play Final Z 14 right after. So yeah, okay, I already, it's already been sent. My package has already been sent. So I just need to wait for it now. Anyway, uh, let's see, what are we going to do today? We are going to play Ghost from Zero, obviously. And we are going to try and get as far as we can. I'm not going to stream too much. My younger brother has to go into bed in two hours. But I'll do whatever I can. Okay. Oh my god. <sighs> right. Active. Okay. Done. Ah, oh, just stack. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, oh. Let's see, what do we need to do? Uh, this, this. And we need to go... Okay. I forgot. Fucking hell. Just a second. Okay, now it should be fine. I believe this area is known as West Street. Yep, it's one of the larger residential areas in the city, just look at all the apartments. If you guys wouldn't mind, I actually know a few people in the city I love to, that I love to catch up with. I think you grew up around these parts then? No, we're already here. May as well do some meeting and greeting before we head out. I'm sure you've been longing to see your friends and family. We can accompany you too. Thanks, guys. I should swing by Valheim to visit Auntie. I pro can probably find Oscar working at Morgan's too. West Street is a residential area in the western part of the city. Streets are lined with homes and apartments along the with the occasion. Stop. Lloyd was born and raised in the city. Hello, Rio and Andre. Hello, Oscar. 
Well, if it is my man, Lloyd. So, you finally decided to stop by and visit your old buddy else together. I don't really know how to keep a guy waiting. Has it been like a year since the last time we had? Uh, Oscar has been three years already. Man, that fuzzy memory of yours hasn't, hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> I blame the fact that we kept sending letters to each other. Never really felt like you were gone for that long, you know? And besides, you might have gotten a bit taller. But I, but I see you still having that grown up precious little baby face. Ugh, shut up. Aw, <laughs> oh, and that palette slowly pruned him right. <laughs> uh, ahem. <clears throat> Must be an old friend of Lloyd's then? Yeah, but the oldest. Name is Oska. I work as an apprentice here at Morgan's Bakery. You two are Lloyd's co workers? Yep, and the name is Vandy. Nice to meet you. I'm Ellie. Theo Plato. Nice to meet you guys. You can tell we work together even though we aren't wearing uniforms. Sometimes I can't tell whether he's completely oblivious or a lost chopper named Les on. Been wrong. You can't see, just see the gear spinning around in your head. But yeah, you still cook Lloyd? Huh? I mean, a little bit, I guess. I had to help my uncle with chores, so that meant cooking every so often. And take this as a reading gift from yours truly. Hope you'll get some use out of it. <gasps> Holy shit, I got dizzy for a second. That was not good. Okay. Uh, how about I teach you how to make a killer sandwich while you're here? Trust me, it's as easy as pie. The very recipe to get you in the swing of things. Happy ham sandwich! Thanks, Oscar. Wow, this is a nice gift. It even has plenty of room to write down variations of different recipes. And with all of you guys sharing it, I'm sure each of you will come up with your own spin on things. I think we got a cake out of it. It'll certainly keep us all fed. A little embarrassing, but the only cooking I've ever really done is baking desserts. What about you do? Ah, more like a ro holy rolls and rose and boil stuff. No food you'd have camp camping out in the wilderness. The recipe has a clear and concise working line can follow, I can manage. If you're interested, I'd be happy to teach you a thing or two. When you talk to people or examine certain things, you can sometimes learn cooking recipes. Recipes are recorded in the recipe notebook. If you use the recipe notebook, you can prepare dishes with various effects at any time. When cooking recipes, there's a set chance to get a supreme or peculiar variant of each dish. Cooking can sometimes result in a failure too. Most ingredients used in cooking are sold at the general stores at various shops. <laughs> Sorry. Most ingredients used in cooking are sold at the general stores at various shops. Monsters may drop them as well. Welcome. Please head over to the register if you're ready to be rung up. Long time to see you, Uncle Miles. Hello here. Oh, it is Lloyd from next door. What a pleasant surprise. I heard that you were back in town, but I didn't think that you'd grown so much. I hardly recognize you. Well, I might have gotten a little taller. <sighs> okay, sorry. I keep yawning. What the fuck is wrong with me? Well, I might have gotten a little taller, but I still got a long way to go on the inside. I wouldn't say that. I did pass a qualification exam to become a detective after all. I'm sure if Guy were here, he'd be proud of his little brother. Really think so? I'd be glad if that were truly the case. He absolutely would. I know it. By the way, if you want to stick around, Bob's in the kitchen if you want to say hello. I'm sure she'll be ecstatic to see you again. Yeah, I'll do just that. Oh, is that really you, Lloyd? <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'm home on too late. I'm sorry it took so long for me to visit. I really should have been the first thing I did. Oh lord, you finally come home. I've heard through the grapevine that you were able to get a job at the CPD. How is it? Have I already started working? It's fine so far. It might be a bit too easy going for my days though. Our chief kind of just lets us do our own thing. Really? That sounds like an enjoyable place to work to me. 
Honestly, I'm just happy to see you looking healthy and cheering, and I'll have to thank you those next time I'm at the cathedral. Lloyd, if you ever need anything while you're living in the dorms, you'd better let me know right away. Your Ani will be there in a flash if you ever need anything. Come on, Ani. I'm not a little kid anymore. And besides, I've been living in dorms since I was old at Police Academy. Oh, don't be such a stranger, Lloyd. We just came home. Don't be afraid to rely on your auntie to help you out. Sorry, auntie. I'll be sure to drop by again soon. I'll bring some desserts. We can catch up over then. And she slowly got Lloyd on the back foot. Despite her seemingly gentle nature, she appears to be quite a formidable force. For some reason, I don't get the feeling to relay my blood, though. Maybe not, but as close as any family I as I've ever seen. I'm a bit jealous. Let's go. Pull up, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. I wanted to go. Residential district, northwest. The mansion district. Residential district. What up? This is Coastbell's Northwestern district. Been home to upper class families for as long as I can remember. Nothing but big ass mansions right here. Yeah. Any of that strange. Residential district is a quiet district in the northwest part of Coastbell City. There are no special facilities. But the large mansions are home to various affluent people living their lives. It would be a good idea to stop by and strike up a conversation with some of the people here while patrolling the city. Granny ordered me to take care of all the cleaning. Oh, I'm still sleepy, but I don't think I can brush this off to the side. Cleaning first, napping second. Well said, kid. Or... Okay, whoever you are. Um, the only people that live in this street are Colesbell's upper class families. Owning land in Colesbell is expensive, so these mansions cost a pretty mirror. Therefore, unless you have the wall to back it up, landing a home here is nothing more than a pipe dream. Hotel Millennium and the Arkansas. Entertainment District. Oh, what's that over there? Oh wow, this is amazing. This is home to the continent renowned theaters through Bach and CL. Oh yeah, aren't their tickets ridiculously expensive though? Everybody enjoying themselves? Are y'all ready to go to our next stop? Oh man, can't we go inside and watch one of their performances? No can do, I'm afraid. Our only show today is being held later in the evening. Once we split off for free time tonight, though, you're welcome to check it out. I wholeheartedly recommend it, both for fans and the uninitiated. Okay, okay. Okay, everyone, allow me to lead you to our next destination. I like going out and chill. I've been a hell of a lot of tourists lately, though. Yeah, I heard they've, there have been a lot of tour buses coming in from the town, out of town. The entertainment district has a lot to offer, so that makes it one of the more popular spots for them to visit. I swear our work is with such reporters. If something were to happen to them, it could snowball into an international crisis. It would be best to avoid that indeed. The entertainment district is a commercial area in the northern part of the city. Various casinos, hotels, and theaters attract an incredible amount of tourists. While some areas are currently inaccessible, you should try visiting them as you progress through the story. Next, we are gonna go to the back alley.
What is this place? This is the infamous back alley of Coesville. It's like an extension of the entertainment district. Got its fair share of pubs and nightclubs you can waddle night away at. Not like you're awfully familiar with this area, Hundy. Of course, man. You know I tell you before? Pubs around here have a ton of sexy ladies. When sexy ladies carry us, so does so true does not. Alright, you can stop talking now. I suppose Randy must be a regular at these kinds of places. Back alley is an alleyway that connects to the central square. We can find stores such as Gante, Jazbar, and Emelta, and shop here. While the prices may be expensive, you can purchase many useful items by visiting when you have the chance. Then next we're gonna go to East Street. Wow, is a darn exotic looking street. I believe this could be called, described as Eastern style. I have heard of the area, but the descriptions fail in comparison to seeing it in person. <sighs> I haven't had a chance to come here very often myself. I heard the rumors. I heard there's various stalls at the market's place are wonderful, though. Yeah? Why don't we check it out then? This is the part where I remind you all that we aren't here to shop. And besides, I think the brace to get us located somewhere around here. East Street is an eastern inspired district on the east side of Coesville City. The marketplace is filled with street vendors and is popular among shoppers. Additionally, the Coesville branch of the Brazier Guild is located in the area and provides support to the citizens. The Brazier Guild. This building belongs to the Brazier Guild. Indeed, they are an international non-governmental organization serving to keep the peace and protect civilians. Yep, I like Coesville's favorite hours of justice and our batteries. I believe officially at least we have a collaborative relationship with them. Oh, why hello there. Welcome to the Bracer Guild. Hmm, you must be from that new little experiment that please with Barnes running. Guess it says, right? Well, how does he know about us? I wanted to properly introduce myself. I'm Lloyd Bonin, so the CPD's special support section. You are? You can call me Michelle. I serve as a Bracer Guild's receptionist out here in Colesville. I heard about you guys from Audios. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Still, I'm surprised you recognized us as soon as we walked in. <laughs> well, the batches were a dead giveaway, and then that, that eclectic final of yours narrowed it down quite a bit. Anyway, from what I hear, your little group has taken more than a few notes from the Brazier Guild, huh? Yeah, I can't deny that. I guess your braces aren't too amused by that. Oh, don't be silly, we don't mind one little bit. In fact, we welcome you with open arms. We're always drowning your requests, and every brace in my guild is already running around to state like a headless chicken. You'll be doing us a huge favor by taking on something at work, you know? I see, a bit of relief to hear that. Don't go getting ahead of yourselves just yet. Still haven't done daily squat to prove here useful. Now fast, help only makes work more work for us. Uh, you're not pulling any bunches, you see? I know I'm being a tad harsh, but we all see how some of the best rate system we're gonna have software in the Coesville. Adios is a given, of course, but each and every one of our other members are pros at what they do. The citizens trust them immensely. On the other hand, the SSS is just a group of newbies the CBD threw together to salvage his image. But I ain't, so you can see why I might still have my doubts that you'll be able to keep up, right? Yeah, there's no arguing against that. Measuring up to them is definitely a tall order, can't deny that. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I'll use off on the teasing for now. Do just focus on working hard and doing what he can for now. If you fall and scrape your knees, we'll be there to kiss your boo-boos and make it all better. We'll give it our all.
Well, let's go. Downtown district. The downtown district. And there's a neighbor down there? This place is really place really far. Coswell City. Yes, it is. This is a downtown district. I haven't been around here much, to be honest. But it's supposedly the remnants of a development project from long ago. According to record to the records, many citizens still inhabit the area. Interesting, I didn't know that. At any rate, this place is still within our jurisdiction. Let's do a quick sweep of the area. Downtown District is a rundown area found at the city's outskirts. While home to some useful facilities, they are unavailable in the earlier stages of the game. Be sure to check back every once in a while as the story progresses. Exchange shop? Name buddy! Yay! Well, right there. Sorry, there were girls at the moment. Bozzy is in the middle of a meeting with an important guest. Please take your leave. Yama Factory! Ah, oh, you folks got starts? Sorry, but I've already gone through all my spare parts today. Come back another time if you need anything. Hey, um, this is a factory, right? There are no records of this business in our database. You must not be in a possession of a permit. <laughs> Well, well informed last, you are. Be great as I've yet to submit an application. they an official business, it's just my own personal workshop. But people do come to me to fix up their busted orbital devices every now and then. It is essentially a repair shop, then. Figures, you can find pretty much any kind, kind of store you'd ever need here in Coswell. Fair is perfectly common, sir. It would be in your best interest to apply for a business permit. <laughs> yeah, you've got me there, Missy. Anyway, I figured it's about time I close up shop for today. If you folks ever need help, you know where to find me. It'll barely cost you anything for some minor repairs. I can fix a broken arm of lamp for dirt cheap. As if I even give a damn. Paul's already pissed enough as it is. Yeah, I feel you. I'm gonna give those guys a public and they'll never forget. We're all looking at. Got a problem with us. Get the hell out of here. Oh shit, I completely forgot. Um, I need to go. I have an appointment. I need to. I have an online appointment. So I need to go. I'm sorry. I I completely forgot about it. I'm always late anyway. I have three minutes left until I need to be on, on that online appointment. Anyway, I'll be going. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll try having installed my graphics card by then. Don't know if it's going to work. I don't know. I'm not that good with computers. But I'll figure it out. Uh, anyway, I'll uh, I'll be going. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.